Hi, Timothy Ungert here. In this video, I want to cover three plugins that allow you to write HTML super efficiently in Vim. Okay, so typically when you have an HTML document, you start off with your doc type, HTML, and then you have your HTML opening and closing tags. Notice how that closed automatically for me. That's pretty awesome. Uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. You have your head tag, right? And then uh, below that, you have your body tag, so on and so forth, right? Um, now, you can all type this out, and you can type out your closing tags. Um, or there's a, a better way to get the structure really quickly, OK? So if I just get rid of this stuff, let's say I just do this. Bam, I've got the structure very quickly okay that was emmet okay now if you're familiar with emmet and vim you might know that the trigger key for emmet is control y and then a comma i just typed a comma comma there i'll show you how to set that up in your vim rc near the end of the video so stay tuned for that okay uh now that i've got my body created I, i'll show you some more about emmet so let's say i wanted to have a div and then inside the div I wanted to have H3 and then five paragraphs. And let's say I wanted to have that. I could do that quickly with Emmet. Yeah, got it created very fast. All right. Um, so that's Emmet. And we trigger it. I'm triggering it with comma, comma. All right. So that's a super quick way to write HTML. That's the first plugin I want to talk about. The second one. You've seen an action already when I've typed out the tag. So let's go down here and let's create another div. So I'm going to just type the tag div. And you know, you notice here that it automatically closes. OK. And if I press another key, it'll bring down, it'll space it down for me. OK. Now, the other key that I'm pressing is this key that the cursor is highlighting. It's uh, right above the period. It's on the same button. OK, the right arrow there. OK, so that is Vim close tag. That's another plugin. I'll show you how to install all these by the end of the video as well. OK, so I can create uh, tags very easily and it just closes for me. OK, uh, now if I had I, I don't believe I've set up file type plugin indent on for this. If I did, uh, they'd be they wouldn't be. The div wouldn't be closing down here, but anyways. Uh, so that's uh, Vim close tag. And there's one more I want to talk about. OK, so let's actually go down here and bring this up to the middle here. And let's say we, with Emmet, we created a div. And then within that div, we created another div. And then within that, we created an H3 plus, I don't know, six paragraphs there. And so we have that structure like that. But what we want is to not just have these as divs. I want to have a section and then an article inside. And I've decided, yeah, I want to use some semantic tags. Now I could go up and then change this one, then go down to the closing tag and change this one. It's something I could do. And then I could go back up here then change this one. And then also change this one. But there's a quicker way. OK, so I'm going to go here and I'm going to type CI and then this right arrow here for change uh, what's inside of the left and right arrow in the tag. OK, so I'll do that. CI that and I'm going to change it to section and I'm going to hit escape. Now watch the closing tag here. OK, so if I hit escape. This one automatically changes to section. OK, now I'm going to do the same thing with this. I'm going to change it to article. And this one down here will also change to article. OK, so uh, again, CI and this key. OK, so CI, write out article, hit escape. And boom, this one changes to article. OK, that is the plugin called Vim Tagalog. So that helps you change the tags very easily. Change the opening tag, the closing tag will automatically change.
Okay. Now let's get on to how to install these and then on to the VimRC where I show you how to change the Emmet trigger mechanism. Okay. So I'm going to quit out of here. Oh, I'm going to write and quit. And then I'm going to CD into my home directory. And to install the plugins, you could use a plugin manager like Vimplug. I used just Vim's built-in plugin system. And to do that, you'd make a directory. So you do mkdir-p because you want to make directories in a directory that you haven't created already. Uh, you're going to do .vim slash pack slash whatever you want to call it. I call it plugins and then slash start. Hit enter. That's going to create those directories that allow you to install the plugins in this slash start directory. Okay. All right. So now I'm just going to CD into those. Okay. And if I list this out, you'll see I have the plugins in here. I have Emmet dash Vim tag along uh, dot Vim and Vim close tag along with a couple other plugins. I may cover those in a future video. Okay. Um, so now to install a plugin, if I didn't have these installed, I'd go up here. Let's say I search for Emmet Vim. Okay. And find the repo and I'll leave uh, links to the repo in the description below. So check that out if you're having trouble finding these. And we go to the code here and you just copy the HTTPS address here. Just copy that. Go back to your terminal to git clone and then paste that in, hit enter. Now I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it again. Uh, so you do that for Emmet and you go to the one for tag along and then you go to the one for Vim close tag. Okay, so now let's finally talk about how I'm changing the trigger in Emmet. All right, so I'm going to change into my home directory and I'm going to go into my Vim RC here. And if I scroll down, you'll see I have this uh, line 10. I have where I change it. I say let space G user underscore Emmet underscore leader underscore key equal within single quotes a comma. Now the leader key is followed by the comma. So if I do a comma, I would type comma comma. And that's super fast. It's kind of like my shortcut here where it says in a row map, no wait, JJ escape. So if I go into insert mode, I can do JJ and go right back to normal mode. Okay, I don't have to reach up for the escape key. Anyways, these plugins will allow you to write HTML super quickly. I think probably faster than VS Code, or at least comparable. Uh, so it's it's a great setup for those who like to use Vim for front end development. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, could you please give it a like as it will help get it out to more people. I also want to thank you for watching. I'd also like to encourage you to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, that helps the channel grow as well. And again, thank you for watching and have a great day.